Good morning, HCE students. I don't know which class I'm looking at today. It could be kindergarten, second, first, third, fourth, fifth. But either way, you guys are gonna be doing these adorable little oil pastel owls. So you're probably with your substitute teacher having art today, wondering what you're gonna do. Well, this you can do in one whole day, or we could break it up into two classes. So we're gonna do it in one class here. I have part of the third grade village with me today, and they're gonna be super quiet audience members. They're working on a couple different projects, so you might hear snipping or coloring. Some of them are doing their owls, some of them are still working on a collage, but they're wonderful helpers, so they're not gonna bother Miss Hopkins or our video, because they wanna take home an owl too. So you're gonna be using some oil pastels for this owl. And I have extras, plenty of oil pastels this year. Your box might be fresh like mine or it might be a little bit used. Remember, if you have a used box, you always wanna share with somebody next to you or just get another box from the, the cabinet wherever we have those located. And I do have black oil pastels in that basket that we always use. That's where I got this extra one. So you're gonna use a lot of black oil pastel. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the board. And it's important that you always keep your paper vertical. I'm gonna use my pencil to write my name on the back. Now, if you're in the village today, they're probably gonna write third grade. But if you're not in third grade, don't write third grade. You're gonna write the grade level that you're in and the teacher's class that you have, whatever your substitute tells you. I'm gonna flip my paper over when I'm finished with that and pick my favorite color that I'm gonna to use today. So it could be white, it could be pink. I'm gonna start with white um, because it's a really neutral color and you might not have a white pastel, I've got one. And anytime I need to peel it, it's totally fine. You guys know how to peel crayons, same way we peel pastels. When I make this owl, the first part of the owl is going to be the head and we're gonna go on to wings after that, and then body. The head needs to be pretty big, okay? Because it'll be a lot easier for you to color a big head with big eyes, and if you did a tiny little head, then you're gonna have a really hard time coloring in a tiny little space. So Miss Hopkins is not drawing with pencil first. The head shape is kind of like an upside down heart. So I start at the top of the page, but not the very top because I do have some owl ear feathers. I do have some owl ear feathers and I need to have some room for them. So I'm gonna start very lightly with my pastel, kind of like the bottom part of the heart. And I'm gonna add a little owl ear feather up here and one right here. And I'm drawing this with pastel, whatever color you love. And I want you to see how much space I left down here for the wings. So I've got a little room up there for the ear feathers. They could be taller ear feathers or short ear feathers. It's so whatever you guys want to do. But I'm going to go ahead and show you where we put the wings on. One wing is going to go on this side. Kind of looks like a big leaf. Notice that it's pointy at the very bottom. And the same way on the other side. Now this one's a little bit round. I want you to look at both types of, of feathers and figure out like, you know, what kind of wing do I want? Do I want a really round wing or do I want like a curvy wing? And I did two different ones because I want to show you that you can actually go right over top of oil pastel with more oil pastel when we color these today. Once I get them the right shape that I want, I trace them over nice and dark. And then I'm gonna put the belly line right here at the bottom. So I've got two wings, kind of like a leaf shape. Make sure you do points at the bottom. And don't worry about this line right here. We're gonna color over top of that if you did that with me. Because remember, oil pastel is a lot like paint. You can always fix a mistake that you make. 
So I've got three major parts, the head with the little ears, the two wings, and the last major part is the belly line. So all the space is our cute little owl's belly feathers. And we're gonna do different feathers for each section today. So my first thing that you're gonna draw on the face is obviously two big owl eyes. Now, where the owl's cheeks come together is where the beak is gonna go. So you can choose to do beak first or eyes first. I like to do the eyes first. And I use my whole arm to draw that big circle. And then my beak is gonna go right between them. I like to point it right at the bottom of the cheeks. So I'm gonna really make sure that I get those nice and bright with that favorite color I'm drawing with. And then in the middle, the little pupils for our owl because our nocturnal owl sees best at night. That's when he's awake and hunting and doing all his owl things. So I gotta make sure that I spend a lot of time on the eyes. The next part that we're gonna do is we're gonna start on feathers. You're gonna pick your two favorite colors that you want your owl to be. So this one over here, I did a blue and purple owl, light blue. I want you to do your feathers before you do your eyes today because I want your feathers to be really, really standout-ish. We'll do our eyes and our beak last. So I'll do a different version today. I did blue and purple last time, but we'll do a different one today. I'm gonna keep that white handy, and I am gonna keep black handy because we're gonna use a lot of those. So I think feeling today, I definitely want something bright. I think I'm gonna use this pink and possibly orange. So I have a cool color owl that I made as my example, but now I'm gonna use some warm colors. And we're gonna start up in the owl's head. So the way I do the feathers for the face is I start with just like a zigzag line and I'm using my pink first. And I just zigzag a stripe from the beak to the cheek, an orange stripe will be on top. And I'm just doing a short little zigzag line. I have room for three stripes under the eye and they all go to the side of the face. Then I need to go back to my orange. This is gonna be a pattern in case you weren't sure. Pink, orange, pink, orange. Now when I get up to about there, I'm gonna switch to the other side. And remember I started with pink on one side, so I need to go back to my other color. Now my third graders in the classroom right now are being super quiet in the village. I have Miss Campbell's group in here. So they know they're not supposed to come up and interrupt. They're being an amazing audience. Definitely getting some shout outs on YouTube. I mean, I'm pretty YouTube famous. I don't really want comments, so I have disabled them um, because this is just my education videos. I don't need to talk to you. If you really need to talk to me, come see me at school. So we're adding our pink and our orange if you chose to match mine. Now, same thing above the beak, I should have those colors matching. And I just had a pink stripe, so I think the orange stripe should naturally come next. So he's basically a stripedy owl with zigzag feathers across the face. And I'm going all the way to the top of his head. Don't worry if you messed up on your pattern because remember, you can always go over top of it with the right color pastel. And I'm gonna do pink all the way here at the top. Now, it's up to you to do the colors of your feathers up here. I think they should probably match what's on your face. 
So if you wanna do a combination of pink and orange, you can. And I'm just gonna shade those in. Little pink, maybe a little bit of orange. Mix them up a little bit. Super fun. And that's pretty much where you're gonna stop with the face as far as feather coloring. So you wanna be really fancy. Here's what I do. That white that we used, I'll add some extra feathers on the side and make it rough. Even outlining around the ears again, the little feather ears. And then for the crazy achievers in my classroom, you could even give your owl a couple feathers on top of its little head. Almost like he's got some hair up there. Gives him a little personality. I kind of like it. He's like, hey dude, look at my cute hair. I like it. So I used some orange and pink on my face. I don't think I should go with an orange beak though because I've already used orange, so I'm definitely gonna use a yellow. I'm gonna test it out on that black paper and see how it looks. It's not as bright as I would like, so I'm probably gonna mix another yellow with it. I have this golden yellow. I'm gonna try that, it's kind of like a sunflower color. I'm liking that one a little bit better. And I'm still gonna keep my pink and orange because we're gonna use those. But you're gonna do your eyes before you move on to your body because I do want you to finish one part. I really liked the light green that I did for the eye color last time, but you can do any color. This owl doesn't have to be realistic. And I've already used a yellow beak, so I'm not gonna do a yellow eye because I like to be a little bit different, but if you want your beak to match your eyes, that is cool with me. The main focus is I want you guys to fill in the black paper. We don't really want a bunch of black paper showing through our oil pastel. You hear me all the time in art saying, fill in the white space, fill in the white space, but you're filling in the black space today. So, at this point, you're filling in the eyes. They should match. We're not gonna do one blue-eyed owl with one on the un one side and a green-eyed owl on the other side. Because I do want them to be symmetrical. That means the same on both sides. And if you didn't already do black in the middle, use that black pastel and really make it pop with his pupil. Now, if you're fancy like me, which all of you pretty much are, you guys can use white for the twinkle. Now remember, sometimes I have to peel my pastel when it slips down too far. So I just do a little white spot. You could do a double twinkle. I think it looks pretty fancy. A little happy owl. So a lot of my kids are in here finishing their face. I'm gonna move on to the body. Push my owl up a little bit. Sweet. I'm gonna do the feathers now. And we're gonna deal especially with this side here that we did that line that I don't wanna see. So we did short lines here. This time we're gonna do long lines. And I'm gonna do them sticking out kind of straight. Actually, I'll go back to my pink because I want it to be striped. So I'm gonna do my orange pink pattern all the way down the wings. All the way down my wings. And my third graders are in here. They're being so quiet. Working very hard today on Friday the 13th, which is the day we're filming. 
And you guys are taking owls home on Friday the 13th if they're in this classroom, which is kind of cool. Spirit day here at HCE. We've got our spirit shirts on. Now you can see that covered up a lot of that line. What I'm also gonna do is add a little jagged line on the outside. And I might even add some white feathers to kind of hide that line even more. Because it is a different part of the bird. Well, if you finish the first wing, well, guess what? The second wing is going to have the same exact technique on the other side. So I'm going to start filling that in. My third graders are probably a little bit behind me. And it's okay if you are too watching the video. Because your teacher can pause and stop and continue whenever they're ready. We're only about 16 minutes in at this point, so you guys have 50 minute classes. You might watch half the video one day and half the video the next day. Long stripes on this side, kind of like sticks. And I like to stick them out a little bit farther than they normally would go. And I did this project a couple years ago with my third graders and it was really successful. There's a lot of them hanging up in our Carrasco building. I think I just got this project online. I saw a really cute owl on Pinterest that inspired me to do oil pastel owls with you. So at this point, you guys should be almost done with your wings. Sorry for the delay. Sometimes we have classroom visitors, um, but that's okay. I was just about to finish this wing. And my kids are super quiet right now because they did get a little bit squirrely when the person came in that needed to, you know, show me something from the next room, but they're okay. We just roll with it. So I'm adding a little bit of white to each wing. Because I want them to be symmetrical. I should have one wing on one side, one wing on the other side, looking the same way. And symmetry is really important in art, especially on this project. It should match up on both sides. Okay, you learn about symmetry and math all the time when you're learning about shapes, like triangles. I think of like an isosceles triangle that's got the same on both sides. So you guys, when you're doing your owls, like this one, we want him to be the same on both sides. We're gonna work on the belly with the same colors we've been using. We're gonna use the same colors we've been using if you're copying Miss Hopkins, and I'm gonna go back with my pink and my orange. And the belly feathers that I'm gonna do are loops. Loopy feathers, long kind of swirly loops. And I'm gonna do a couple white ones as well, because that's the color that I started with. I don't have a ton of space at the bottom of this owl for little feet, but if you would like to put some on, you could. I might show you if we have time at the end of the video. But at this point, the owl is pretty much covered, and now I'm just gonna jazz him up with fancy lines like the ones along the sides, and I'll show you how to jazz the eyes up and make them look really cool. So if you look at this one we already did, we're gonna add some fancy parts around the eyes. I'm gonna use that black pastel as well to really make this owl pop off the page. So if you look at the eyes, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace them with black a couple times. It's okay if your lines don't really like line up with each other. I kind of like the extra overlapping. And now I'm gonna add some fun eyelash feathers on the top 
and some eyelash feathers on this side and maybe some at the bottom. If you wanna go all the way around, you can. And I'm gonna do that white too. So black and white eyelash feathers is what I'm doing. You could do any color you want. And remember, I've got those extra black oil pastels. If you don't have one, kind of makes the eyes pop off of the page a little bit. Show you that up close. Really fun. Since I used some black there, I'm gonna go ahead and retrace that beak too. And I'm gonna use some white underneath to really make his cheeks extra fluffy with a zigzag line. And the wings too, on the inside of the wings, really wanna make that look like feathery, fluffy texture. Okay, the word of the day is texture. I want to be able to imagine feeling this owl. How would my owl feel? My, my owl should feel all feathery and soft. So the softer you do the feathers, the extra parts, it's gonna look amazing. And I'm using some black as well to show off those different feather types. The swirly, whirly feathers, the straight feathers, mix, mix, mix. And they all should go the same direction. This guy takes up a huge part of the page. I like to redo the top, maybe even the funky hair. And this owl is gonna look smashing, if I do say so myself. Now, if you had room, you could totally do some feet. I'm just gonna do three little toes or talons. in black. You can make it as thick as you want. I might grab a little bit of brown because it's hard to see on the screen. But I'm just gonna do three long toes. And if it's hard for you to see, you can also do them in white. I'll show you here on the screen. If you don't wanna do the feet, you don't need to, it's okay. So there's my cute oil pastel owl. Filling up the page, lots of colors going on. Yes, your fingers will be dirty, but it's not really a big deal. You guys know how to wash your hands. I hope you enjoyed our owl lesson today and that you are behaving for your teacher. And I will see you guys when I get back.